Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Berean TV. Kersey Graves, World 16 Crucified Saviors. Uh, a lot of you may not have ever heard of the book, but when we look on the internet, there's a lot of people with various theories that the Jesus story prior to Christianity existed with Osiris, with Krishna, with Mithra, and other people. Let's go over that, and I'm going to take you all back to the original source on a lot of this stuff. When we deal with World 16 Crucified Saviors, or what's better known as Christianity Before Christ, it was written by Kersey Graves. Now, we need to know a little bit about this guy. It's an old book. It's about 140 years old. Graves was born in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. His parents were Quakers, and as a young man, he used to follow them in their observance, later on splitting off and going into the Hicksite branch of Quakerism. The Hicks were named after one of the Quakers that broke away, and he was more mystical in what they taught. They didn't hold to the authority of the Bible, but they believed in the inner light that was to guide them, and that was the true source of their spirituality. Now, a lot of people you'll see, if you search out the internet, argue over the education of graves, but one thing we do know for sure is that when it comes down to World 16 Crucified Savior, he did not do his homework. Let's check this out. This young man right here is Richard Carrier. He's an atheist and a historian. His bachelor's, master's, and PhD is in history. He's considered a certified historian, and he's not a Christian. In all actuality, he has an ax to grind with Christianity. He's been in the forefront of the new atheistic movement and speaking against um, Christian beliefs. And let's just see what he says as a trained historian. He's not speaking as someone that um, does not have a degree or just have an honorary degree. He's speaking as a trained historian. Richard Carrier is worldwide. This is from his site. Author and speaker as a professional historian, um, published philosopher, and prominent defender of the American free thought movement. Carrier has appeared across the United States and Canada and the U.S., speaking television, London, on the radio, and different place, places. With a Ph.D. from Columbia University in ancient history, he specializes in the intellectual history of Greece, Rome, particular events of philosophy, ancient philosophy, religion, and other things. Let's see what Richard Carrier have to say when it comes down to the person of Kersey Graves and his book, World 16 Crucified Savior, in a crowd that he's speaking. He's interviewed a lot on the radio, but he's speaking to a crowd concerning Kersey Graves and should it be used as a tool for atheists against Christians, historically speaking. And I quote, World 16 Crucified Saviors, or Christianity Before Christ, is unreliable, but no comprehensive critique exists. Most scholars immediately recognize many of his findings as unsupported and dismiss graves as useless. After all, a scholar who really cites a source isn't useful to have as a reference, even if he's right. Let's read on. In general, even when the evidence is real, it often only appears many years after Christianity began and thus might be evidence of diffusion in the other direction. Another typical problem is that grave draws too far much from what often amounts to rather vague evidence. Let's, we, 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 let's look at that again. He, and he brought out 10 points. I'm just bringing out a few points here. In general, even when the evidence is real, it often only appears many years after Christianity began. People want to read into the Christian story. We have people that have read into the Christian story, the virgin birth story, and it's years after the fact. Now, this is coming from a Ph.D. atheist historian warning other atheists not to use that because you will not be considered credible. Why is this so very important? Let's take a look. Like I said earlier in the video, there's a lot of people and they tend to be 
um, judgmental towards Christianity and they say we just accept certain things by faith and we don't have any foundation, we don't have any basis, but upon closer inquiry, if you really check them out, you'll begin to understand a lot of these people, they don't have any evidence. They don't understand what a primary source is, what a secondary source is. They don't understand true scholarship. They'll hear somebody quote something and they'll say, well, I often meet people tell me, well, I've done my research. And it comes to find out their research is watching a few videos and that's not true research. That's not true scholarship, but people claim it all the time. And Christians come to me and ask me, did you hear about this? And did you hear about a virgin story and this and that? And it goes all the way back to Gerald Massey, Kersey Graves. And I'm going to show y'all later on part two of this video, how they were spiritualists. But why is this so important? Because everybody has been around parading this. Let's look at a couple of these folks. This first young lady right here is Madeleine O'Hare. In 1963, she was in the forefront of the atheistic movement. She was one of those that um, actually pushed to get scripture readings out of the public schools in 1963. She often appeared on the Phil Donahue show and other shows ranting on how there is no God and if there was a God, how he was unjust. But she's just the beginning. Let's look at a few more. The next person that we have here. Now, Peter Joseph, y'all may not know him from seeing him, but you might have heard of his movies, The Geist. They have, um, I believe he have over 600 million views worldwide on the Internet. It has become a phenomenon. Now, The Geist, which means the spirit of the age, is a documentary that deals with 9-11 and the attacks on 9-11. But the first portion has to do with Christianity. And they claim it's a worldwide conspiracy and Christianity is nothing but an ongoing astro -the um, theology doctrine. And he quotes Jordan Maxwell and another woman, Acharya S. or Dorothy Murdoch. We're going to speak about her in a few, mil in a few moments. But um, they heavily, all of them, they heavily um, quote Gerald Massey and they heavily quote as the primary source for their information, Kersey Graves in this book, World 16 Crucified Saviors. So let's look at some of the other people that are involved in this conspiracy against the church, this movement. With so many people quoting Graves and he's making um, faulty statements, it's just talk. This is where the problem comes in. A lot of people don't understand the difference between scholarship and what scholarship is and just regular talk. And we see a lot of this stuff on the Internet. We see a lot on the radio. People tend to forget that when... If you have a keyboard, you can post something on the Internet. Just because in the, it's on the Internet doesn't make it true. I just call this stuff barbershop talk. You know barbershop talk when brothers get around in a barbershop and they can just say anything without any facts. Just say what they heard, say what they think, say what they feel. And it doesn't have to be based on any facts whatsoever. But remember, we're getting something from Richard Carrier, who's an earned Ph.D. atheist historic. He's a historian and he's an atheist. He has nothing, nothing good to say about Christianity. But when it comes down to it, he's warning atheists, you cannot use Kersey Graves as a source because he's unreliable. Another person that we must look at is the young lady that's right here. Her name is Acheria, Acheria S. Dorothy Murdoch. She's down with Stellar House Publishing. This is Ray Hagen. Um, another person that heavily uses that work, John G. Jackson. He actually has a book with the same name. And, of course, the general, Sarah Sutton Seti. They're, they're all involved in anti-Christian talk. They use this barbershop stuff, and it's not based on scholarship. That's it for now. Look out for part two, and thanks for watching. If you like what you heard, please subscribe.